I've always been a fan of the middle in almost every situation and this one is no different. Asana is the perfect middle spot for online business owners. In this video, I will compare Asana to a more basic tool as well as a more complex tool and give you the reasons why I think Asana is the perfect choice for small business owners like yourself. Before we get started, let me know in the comments if you're already using a project management tool, which one you're using and how you feel about it. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> So out of all the most popular project management software, I think Asana is the best because it fits so perfectly right in the middle. It is not too complex, it is not too basic, it is just right. <laughs> On the simpler side, you have tools such as Trello. I actually started out with Trello as do a lot of online business owners from what I have seen. It was great to start out with and sort of dip my toes into the world of digital planning and managing my tasks in those early stages of my business. But there came a point where I needed more. And I do see this to be very common with online business owners who do start out with software such as Trello. There usually comes a point where you do end up needing more than what Trello has to offer. Like having different ways to view your data. In Asana, I especially love being able to use the calendar view, especially when it comes to planning out my content and just seeing that overview of my weekly tasks every week. Now I know that there are calendar power-ups in Trello. I actually played around with that when I was using Trello. It was around the eighth stage when I started wanting more out of my project management system and I started really getting to content planning. But I think you can only have one power up per board on the free plan of Trello and that gets used up just with the calendar view if you are wanting to see it in that calendar view. I also really need to be able to connect everything within my project management tool and with good organization and this was really lacking in Trello. You could have multiple boards set up in Trello but they weren't really connected in any way and that's just honestly not something I could deal with at this point in my business. And with Trello, you also can't assign tasks to individuals, which is a huge problem if you have any kind of team. Whereas Asana really makes team management easy and fun. It's so easy to collaborate with your team. Okay, and then on the more complex side, you have tools such as ClickUp, which I know has become all the rage lately. So I know there's probably gonna be people who disagree with me here, but I personally did experiment with ClickUp and I honestly almost switched at one point but since it's so new, it does have a lot of kinks to work out. So that was one problem I found with it. But also I find from talking to others and working with other online business owners who do end up choosing Asana and have me support them through the process, that ClickUp is just too overwhelming for the average small business owner. It is a lot more complicated to learn and often just has too much going on that solopreneurs honestly don't typically need. When I was really looking into the differences between ClickUp and Asana and really considering whether I wanted to switch away from Asana to ClickUp, I read something that made a whole lot of sense to me. It was about how ClickUp may offer all of these features and it's really trying to be this big all-in-one solution. But as with most all-in-one tools, it's doing a decent job of all of those things but Asana is sticking within its niche, <laughs> the, the thing that it does well, and it's doing it very well. I almost never run into glitches with Asana. I mean, not never, but almost never. <laughs> when it comes to Asana, it really is the perfect middle. I've helped several online business owners start using Asana, and I've helped them optimize it through custom systems and support. And so after talking to them and learning their needs, they tend to agree with me that Asana is the perfect middle as well. Asana is simple to start using, but it is powerful enough to run your entire business and life <laughs> with the right systems. So it's really incredible to have a tool that can be simple enough for anybody to use, but really be powerful enough to run your entire business like I help my clients do. If you are just starting out using Asana and you're not sure how to set it up or how to optimize it, or if you've been using it, but you really want to optimize it in the way that it can powerfully run your entire business and life, <laughs> I'm here to help. Head to my website, www.samanthakasberg.com and either get my made for you templates that I made for you <laughs> in my program, Asana Essentials, or work with me one-on-one -on -one for your custom needs. I can't wait to help you get control of your business through Asana. <laughs>
Asana makes everything easier. It saves you so much time and mental energy when used right. And it really is there to meet you where you are at in your business. It has so many different options so that you can customize it to work with your unique business and your unique brain. You can use colors, tags, graphics, and more. You can organize it in all different types of ways. It really is just everything you need as an online business owner. Oh, and you can do all of this, everything I've said, with the free version too. That's my specialty actually helping you optimize the free version of Asana. It really is my everything and I can help you make it your everything too. Here are some of my favorite things about Asana and why it has been a game changer in my clients and my businesses. It is user-friendly. As I've mentioned, you do not have to be an expert to use Asana. Of course, with the practice and knowledge, you can create a more efficient system, but it's really quick to just get in and get started. It's also, I don't know how important this is for some people, but for me, I appreciate it. It is pretty, it is nice to look at, nice to work in every day and you can personalize it and you can use color coding and you can really set it up to just be so colorful and pleasing to the eye, which can make you wanna use it more regularly, or at least it works for me. <laughs> Asana has multiple views that you can view all the same data in. So as I mentioned, it can work with your unique brain, right? Because you can set it up in all these different ways and you can view your data in all these different ways as well. You can have lists, boards, calendars, all in the free version as well. And you can change between them depending on the mood you're in, depending on if you're just playing around to see which works best. And you can set your default views so that you can come back and view that in the same way each time. And you can view different projects in different ways as well. So for example, I view my content calendar as a calendar. That's how I plan my content so that I can see it all laid out in calendar view. But I have other projects that I use list view for example, if I'm planning out a project, I tend to use the list view. Or for keeping track of my business information, I like to use the board view. And I have those all defaulted, so whenever I open up that project, it's always going to open in that view that I prefer to view it in. But I can always view it in the other views if I choose to as well. As I mentioned, Asana is free. This is another amazing thing about Asana is you can do so much with the free version. Everything I've mentioned in this video, you can do for free and you can have even have up to 15 team members added to your account. Asana is fun to use as well. It sends off rainbows and unicorns and narwhals and when you uh, complete tasks. So as you're checking off your tasks, you'll see colorfulness and little creatures flying across your screen and it just makes it so much fun to actually complete your tasks. All right, if I've convinced you and you're ready to start using Asana and you wanna make sure to set it up in the best way, make sure to check out this video next where I walk you through the setup step by step. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know what questions you have about Asana in the comments and I will see you next week. Bye.